start off this video, I wanted to show you something unusual that I found on my last thrift trip to the Goodwill, and I found this bamboo valet for just $8, and I saw the exact same one being sold on Cherish for just under $600. Now, I don't know if it's actually worth that, but I definitely liked its uniqueness, and I think it really brings a nice coastal feeling to my space without it being cheesy. I wanted to do something a little different in this video, just the way it's kind of laid out. I thought it would be better to kind of go through room by room and show you guys what I found at the thrift store and how I'm going to use them in those specific spaces. So for the kitchen, I always like to look through the greenery because the greenery at thrift stores, usually it is a smaller amount, but usually that's all you need. So I'm gonna show you a really quick little example here. So on my last thrift trip, I have been looking for florals to go in the space. And I feel like because the vase is so intense, it's got a lot of texture to it. I really just wanted some simple wispy little florals to go in here. I didn't want like anything heavy like hydrangeas or tulips. So when I found this bundle for just $2.50, I thought it was the perfect fit for the specific pot. Another thing I found on my last thrift trip was this book, and it is a book of prints that you can take from this book, that's literally the intention of this book, and you can frame these prints um, with frames that you already have at home, and the book only cost $1. I also found this mat for just 25 cents, so I'm just gonna stack these mats on top of each other and place one of those prints in here, and it is such an affordable way to get really aesthetic artwork on a budget. And to add to that shelf, I found this woven rattan basket for just 50 cents. And again, I loved how narrow it was because those shelves are pretty narrow. And then I also found these faux artichokes. And normally I would like to buy real, but sometimes I don't wanna worry about if I'm going to use it, is that being more wasteful? So sometimes having some things that are faux are a nice thing to have. And each of these were just 50 cents as well, making this whole situation only $3. And as you can see here, all of these pieces, the cutting boards, the candlesticks, the florals, the picture, the basket, the artichokes, everything kind of comes together in a really nice way. But because it was thrifted, it was all really affordable. This was actually the hardware that we opted for for our kitchen cabinets, and it's from Amazon, so I'll link it in the description below. But I found these salt and pepper shakers for just a dollar each, and I think that they match them perfectly. I know there's a little bit of wear and tear to them, but I truthfully love that about them. I think they add like a nice rustic quality. And if you watched my thrifted gifts video, you might recognize this woven for just 50 cents. And I opted to put some recipe cards in here and add it to the salt and pepper shakers and keep it by my stovetop. Another thing that I found were these woven placemats that match the rattan basket and the recipe card holder perfectly. And I decided to put those behind my canisters. For the next kitchen thrifted item, this actually isn't something that I thrifted recently. This is something I've had for quite a while now, and it is this mocajete bowl. I actually paid $12.99 for it, which I know might seem like a lot, but if you were to buy it at a big box store, you would be paying maybe quadruple that price. So when I found it there, I was very excited to find it, and I've had it now for many months, and you guys always ask about it, so that's why I wanted to share it with you guys in this video. So now moving into the living room, I want to talk quickly about pillows because I think a lot of interior decorators, interior designers will tell you just switch your pillows out. It's a really affordable way to switch things up. But lucky for you guys, I'm a nurse. I'm just like you guys. And I don't want to spend $120 changing up all my pillows, you know, four times a year. So what I like to do is go to the thrift store because I have found so many beautiful, very on trend um, pillow covers, even pillow inserts of all shapes and sizes, prints, patterns, you name it, um, that fit my aesthetic very well. It's just about going, the frequency that you go to the thrift store will obviously increase the likelihood of you finding exactly what you're looking for. So I really liked this floral one. I've seen things pretty much identical to it on Studio McGee's website for, you know, 10 times the price. I also really loved this checker print one, so I decided to pick that one up. It is huge and it fits my couch perfectly. It did have a few stains on it and the inside was really weird, so I did have to kind of clean that out, spray it down, give it a good wash, but after that it was really good as new and I don't think anyone would ever guess that I only spent $3 on that entire pillow. The 
The next thing I wanted to show you that I was so excited to find was this kind of whitewashed basket and it was huge. It was $12, which I know, again, kind of seems like a lot, but I know if I was to find this basket at Target, it would probably be more in like the $35, $40 price point. So to me, it is still a savings because it is something that I would buy at a big box store, but I didn't have to because I found it at the thrift. And now I wanna talk about the decor that I have in that space. So I found this really beautiful speckled bowl that reminds me so much of the vase that I picked up from Target from the Studio McGee line. But this vase was, I think, $35 and this bowl was just three. So I am again, I'm causing some repetition in my house on these built-ins because you're seeing the same sort of pattern more than once. And I think it just kind of makes everything feel really cohesive, but because it's not, again, another vase, it's a bowl. I feel like it causes some uh, separation as well. And again, I like to look at florals really for every area of my home. And I found these kind of branch florals that were that reddish burgundy color. And again, I'm causing that repetition because my kitchen and living space are kind of an open concept and I want to make everything kind of flow together and the rooms are separate but I still want to create cohesion. The next thing that I always look for at thrift stores, especially for the summer, are glass because I don't like to use a lot of brass or any metallics during summer. I think it's just a little bit too harsh for that time of year. So I like to substitute whatever I have as like a metal, I like to use glass in its place. And I look for a specific type of glass. I like the glass that has just a slight blue tint to it. And I have gotten really lucky. I found this pitcher for $3. I found this fishbowl vase for just 50 cents. The first vase was also just 50 cents and you can find this at Target but you're gonna pay you know ten times the price of what you would find at the thrift store and something else I want to mention is whenever I find pottery especially now I think I've learned this it doesn't always need to have something in it sometimes it's nice for it to just stand independently so that's exactly what I did with this vase, and then I ended up putting some dried eucalyptus in the vase right beside it and I think it just all kind of flows really well together Another thing I like to look for, and this is all year round, not just for summer, are black metal baskets. And these are so versatile, you can use these in so many different ways, and I found this one for just $1. And keeping on with our basket theme, I also found these dark brown, sort of like primitive looking um, gathering baskets, and I really loved them. And because there was two of them, I decided to pick them up. If ever you're in a situation at the thrift store and there are two of the exact same basket and they're like a pretty decent size, I always just say get them because there's going to be a time where you're going to wish that you had. Next up, I found this planter for just 50 cents, and that is something I always look for at thrift stores. You can find great deals on planters, and I decided to fill it with some dried baby's breath. If you are ever at a grocery store and you don't know what florals to buy, baby's breath and eucalyptus dry really nicely. So I would definitely suggest those two before anything else. So one of my biggest problems whenever I'm styling anything is I feel like a lot of times it has the tendency to be a little too boring. So one thing I have started doing recently is I like to find a couple strange or unusual items to add to the space just to make it feel a little bit more interesting and artistic. So I found that sculpture for just $2 and I'm very happy with the way it looks on the shelf. I feel like it keeps it feeling interesting. And next up, if you happen to watch my thrifted gifts video, again, this won't be new to you, but I did decide to keep this jewelry box for myself. It was the perfect color, but instead of using it for jewelry, I decided to use it for extra electronic cords and things like that. And I think it looks great up on my shelf. And to go right alongside that box, I found these really interesting canisters that had this very sort of trendy um, scalloped edge along the top. And I know it says $10, they might have been from a garage sale, but I actually only spent 50 cents per canister, which I mean, you can't beat that price. So I just kind of cleaned them off a bit and decided to put some just playing cards and just games in there that are kind of smaller, like LCR and things like that. And that way they are contained, but they're beautifully contained. 
So the next room I wanna talk about is the home office. So I don't like to change up too much in that room. I like it to stay pretty standard, but there are a few things I like to change. So the first thing that I found was this kind of smoked vase, and it was this beautiful navy color, which is the color of that room, and it was just $1, but I wanted to do a little something to it. I didn't wanna leave it empty, but it is too tall for me to put any florals in there or anything like that. So then I found this candlestick for just 25 cents, as well as this little holder from a macrame cord box. So I decided to place that. I just super glued it to the bottom and then I placed the candlestick right inside of it and then I covered it with some sand. And I think it kind of gives a coastal feeling without saying like life's a beach because you guys really know that those like word signs are just really not my style. And this is something you could essentially do with any vase. This could be something that you find at the Dollar Tree and kind of recreate that same sort of a project. And next up, I wanted to talk about little glass boxes. And I found this one actually in the Christmas section and it had several really strange ornaments inside of it that I ended up donating right back to the thrift store. But I decided instead to fill it with some seashells and some of them I bought from the thrift store, some of them I already had on hand. And I think it just adds this very like chic quality to the bookcase in my office. And the next thing I found was really not specific for summer, but um, it does fit that space really well, was this ink pen. And obviously it's dried out. I don't know how long it's been at the thrift store, but it was just 50 cents. And I think it just fits the space really nice. This would be something I would consider a prop, not something I'm really using, but it's definitely like office decor. Next up, I found this cork board that was just $3 and it did have some damage to it, but if the damage is small and you plan on covering it with things anyway, that really doesn't bother me. I would rather save the money there. So I knew I wanted to put some pictures from that book that I showed you guys in the beginning of this video, as well as maybe just like a plane ticket or something that I've like saved over time on my travels to Europe or something like that and place this on this cork board as well. And then I also found this little handbag or beach bag for just two dollars and I think it all just feels kind of summery and airy and welcomes the season of summer so nicely. And you guys saw in my spring video how I thrifted that podium for just 50 cents. So now it was time to change that book and I decided to pick a very summery page and I put it on my daughter's dresser. And again, just to show you how versatile different pieces can be depending on how you use them. And that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and tell me down in the comments which find or which space was your favorite in this video. And until next week, I will see you then. Bye.